You are lying. Uh, but uh, I cannot. Mr. Chair, uh, may I respectfully move that we cite uh, Major Lalaraga in contempt. The administrative case has not yet been resolved up to now. Is that correct, Colonel Leonardo? I think uh, some of them are no longer in the service, uh, Mr. Chair. Was it as a result of this administrative case or for some other reasons? I'm not sure, Mr. Chair, some, uh, because of this uh, case, Mr. Chair. But I thought that case was still pending before the Napolcom. The Attorney appeal, Bernardo. Um, yes, Your Honor. Uh, it is still pe pending in the uh, National Appellate Board. Uh, I could not make a decision uh, alone because uh, these are collegial. Uh, we are four of us, and uh, at that time, uh, we are not uh, in the same uh, opinion with uh, uh, Commissioner Leonardo. While the two others are still trying to decide whether they would uh, side with me or side with uh, uh, Commissioner Leonardo. And uh, it might strike a, a good uh, uh, decision when, I, I, when I, I'm seeking the uh, records of the NBI to substantiate the fact that the cause of death was not at all uh, uh, through Ghana to, to uh, exchange of fire, but rather, uh, if I would follow the medical legal, it might have been a murder case or, or at the very least, a, a homicide. Uh, and they are not supposed to be simply demoted, Your Honor. Should the administrative case be faster, uh, Attorney Bernardo? Yes, it, it should have been, but uh, in as much as the decision, I was then alone because the other commissioners are still trying to uh, evaluate the, uh, the, the case. I was just alone in, uh, in, in, in pushing for an early resolution. The point that I'm raising, uh, Attorney Bernardo, is the fact that if these people are still in the active service of the PNP, then they could still be performing acts which are illegal or improper and not in accordance with PNP policies. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. I do. That's why there's a need to hasten the proceedings, siguro, sir. Di ba? Yes. Uh, pinakiusapan ko nga, Your Honor, yung dalawa pang commissioner, na they, they are now siding with me at this time, uh, considering the fact that uh, time has lapsed uh, uh, and uh, justice delayed is justice denied uh, for, for the victims. And uh, I am asking the NBI for an additional evidence to bolster my, my, my recommendation that there's supposed to be a rendition of judgment and to reverse the, simply a, a, a demotion. It should have been more severe penalties to be imposed. Are they now siding with you only after Colonel Leonardo resigned as commissioner from the Mapolcom? I, uh, I would ask them, Your Honor, but... Uh, uh, what, but was the decision to change their minds recent? It's quite recent, Your quite Honor. Quite recent. Quite recent, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman uh, Flores. Congressman Akop. <coughs> In relation to the issues raised by the Honorable uh, Flores, Napolcom, na charge din po ba si Colonel Marcos? Uh, na charge, uh, Your Honor, pero ka, hindi ho nag uh, appeal eh. Suspens, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, suspension lang ata ang sa kanya eh. Kaya hindi na po siya nag appeal eh. Uh, yung iba lang mga kasama ang nag, uh, nag appeal Was Your Honor. Was his sentence served? I, I suppose so, Your Honor. Uh, it's supposed to have been served uh, by this time. Suspension. How about uh, 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 Major Laraga? Uh, I, uh, yes, Mr. Chair. I was demoted, Mr. Chair. You were demoted? Yes, Mr. Chair. Samantalang si Colonel Marcos na promote. Di ba, doon sumasama ang loob mo? Uh, no, not necessarily, Mr. Chair. Not necessarily? Yes, Mr. Chair. Pero alam ko, sumama ang loob mo eh. Di ba, dahil ikaw, na-demote siya, na-promote. If you look at the orders of Colonel Marcos, it was through the orders of the president, former president, signed by the Secretary of the Interior and Local Government, as attested by DPRM, if you look at his orders. Di ba? Kaya alam ko, masama yung loob mo dahil hindi ka na ganun eh. Thank you, Mr. Chair.
Thank you, Congressman Ako. Kevin, Kevin. Now, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, just uh, Congressman uh, Paduano. Uh, I consulted the the Comsec, and uh, as far as I remember, during the previous hearing, we invite the deponent, no? And now Major Laraga is here. Major, sino nga yung deponent nyo? Mr. Paul Olendan, Mr. Chair. Ito, uh, is he here? Uh, case to ni, ano, uh, ni, may, 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 uh, ni Mayor Espinosa. That is correct, Mr. Magkaiba Chair. Magkaiba pa yung sa case ni Alvarez. Yes, Mr. Chair. Now, in the case of Mayor Espinosa, sinong deponent? Mr. Paul Olendan, Mr. Chair. Ano ang, anong background niya? Why he was chosen as a deponent? He was a previous uh, PDL, Ms. Mr. Chair. Previous PDL? Yes, Mr. Chair. Kaya nga sabi kanina na, 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 na Polcom na yung comment nung, nung ni Justice, eh, well, in fact, walang direct knowledge yung deponent mo. Kasi dating nakakulong pero nasa labas. Paano siya... Kasi supposedly the deponent has direct knowledge, di ba? That is correct, Mr. Chair. Oh, why him? Na hindi naman siya nakakulong. Um, Mr. Chair, based on the RC. testimony of the deponent, Mr. Chair. Testimony of whom? Of the deponent, Mr. Chair, which was subjected to... Ang tanong ko nga to... sa iyo, kasi ikaw yung nag-apply, di ba, ng search warrant. Yes, Mr. Chair. Ikaw nag-handle. Yes, Now, anong testimony niya? Nakita niya na may baril doon sa loob? Yes, yes Mr. Chair. Paano niya nakita? Uh, he was, uh, according to him, Mr. Chair, he was able to go inside when he was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, invited, Mr. Chair. Have you uh, checked the, you know, the warden that uh, indeed your deponent has visited that, j that jail? Um, the... Sandali po, yes or no lang. Ikaw ka, medyo lalaga. Me Yes, Mr. Chair. Huwag ka magsinungaling. Yes or no? Have you checked the warden that indeed your deponent has visited the jail to confirm that indeed there's a gun? Personally, me not. No, Mr. Chair. Sorry? Uh, me personally, I did not, Mr. Chair. Oh, you did not? Yes, Mr. But Chair. But you apply for the search warrant without checking that indeed yung testimony ng deponent mo na nakapasok siya doon? I believe, uh, Mr. Chair, I don't have any uh, recourse as to validate. Ayun yung problema fact, mo. Uh, he has, he gets Then the why? Strategy. Then why? You apply for such warrant? Actually, Mr. Chair, the, that uh, they, legal trade they, inside the... You mentioned about the testimony of your deponent, di ba? Tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. Now, tinatanong kita, paano mo na-verify na it indeed that this testimony is true and correct? Uh, Mr. Chair, I, I was made to believe that... Uh, you were testimony... made to believe? Yes, Mr. Chair. But you have to check. Now, question. Sabi mo kanina, nakita niya nakapasok si doon nung nagbisita siya. Tama? That is correct, Mr. Chair. Now, doon sa, ano po, kay Warden. And then, the PDL, former PDL that was mentioned by uh, Major Larga, nakabisita po, po, po siya doon kay Mayor Espinosa. Mr. Chair, paki... Major Larga, pakiulit nga po yung pangalan ng former PDL. Mr. Paul Olendan, Mr. Chair. Do you know Paul Olendan? Hindi po. Your Honor. Hindi po kilala? Hindi po, ko kil hindi po kilala, Your Honor. Oh, Major Lalaga, hindi niya kilala. Former inmate saan yun? Siya. Do hindi, know? ikaw. Major. <laughs> Dapat alam yung background ng deponent mo, di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Saan siya dati nakakulong? In, I believe in Aboyog Penal Colony, Mr. Chair. The same? No. No, Mr. no, I Mr. think... Mr. Chair. Oh. Mr. Chair. Ah, uh, yes. The, 
we do not have any PDL by the name of Bulindan. And the uh, records upon verification of our records, he never visited the Bay Bay sub-provincial jail facility. Oh, Major Laraga, hindi siya former detainee o inmate ng provincial jail. Sabi mo nga sa Abuyog. Tapos, hindi rin nag-visit doon. Oh, Major Laraga, huwag kang magsinungaling. Mr. Chair, uh, I cannot answer for and in behalf of my deponent and that as to regard of no, the birth of the po. Hindi ko po sinasabi sa iyo that you have to answer. Ikaw po nagsabi na sinabi ng deponent mo na bumisita sa doon. That, that is correct, Mr. Chair. And now, the jail warden confirms na walang nangyaring visit. Uh, I, I cannot uh, attest to the uh, eh, yun nga, statement of the jail warden. Yun warden. Nga, sabi ko sa iyo kanina, tinanong nga kita, have you checked? Personally, not, Mr. Chair. Personally? Me, personally. Bakit sino pa ba dapat mag-check? Uh, I believe we have uh, a surveillance personnel who took... Ikaw ba naman, Major Laraga? Ikaw yung nag-apply, principal, nag-apply ng mga search warrant, tapos sabihin mo na... Di ba sinabi mo kanina, nag-bisita siya? Based on his testimony, Mr. Chair. Oh, kaya nga sinasabi ko sa iyo... Based on this testimony. Now, kinoconfirm ngayon na walang nangyaring visit, visit yung deponent mo. O sino ngayon may problema? Uh, Mr. Chair, we, we have been filed. I was, a, I was also a respondent or accused of the Sandali criminal po. case. I am for... not asking you about your case. Well, in fact, demotion na lang eh, di ba? You were just demoted. Uh, the criminal case for malicious application of... And now you're invoking ju sub in no, this no, committee? No, no, Mr. Chair. That was also the... Uh, there, there was a case filed against me, Mr. Chair. And then so the search warrant... Uh, actually, Mr. Chair, it was the, the Honorable Judge, uh, through searching questions and answers, who made the probable cause and issued the same, uh, which until now, Mr. Chair, was... Uh, as ruled by the Supreme Court, was valid and the application was proper. I believe, Mr. Chair. Uh, I, I submit to the Supreme Court's ruling, Mr. Chair. If uh, Valid. That's my humble submission, Mr. Chair. Na valid yung application ng search warrant? Yes, Mr. Chair. It, it was in the ruling of the Supreme Court, uh, Mr. Chair. I, I humbly submit. May, may, may I know? Sandali. May, may ano, anong, sa, anong ruling yan? Uh, Mr. Chair, it was a consolidated case of all of the... Are you a lawyer? Are you a lawyer? I'm, I'm not, Mr. Chair. Okay. Can you give me a copy? Do you have a copy with you of the ruling? Yes, Mr. Chair, I have. Pengi nga kami. Paige, can you please uh, get a copy and uh, submit this? Copy to the chair. Uh, please uh, proceed, uh, Congressman uh, Paduano. Uh, sino po yung nag-file ng case against? It was the NBI, Mr. Chair. The NBI? Yeah, perjury and uh, malicious application of search warrant, Mr. Chair. So, the Supreme Court decided it? No, no, sir, at the Municipal Trial Court of uh, Basay Samar, Mr. Chair. So, I... Ano, nag-appeal ba yung NBI? Did I, they appeal? I think they didn't, they did not, Mr. Chair. They didn't? Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh, ito yung problema. NBI, you, are you familiar with the case? Good evening, Mr. Chair. We are familiar with the case, however, with the, if the questions will be about the uh, case itself, we would like to have a moment with the records and uh, we will submit the records of the case on the next hearing, Your Honor. Paki, paki, ano na po, update kami dito, no? Kasi, while you're telling this committee na yung MTC rules favorable to your case, tama? 
Uh, that is correct, Mr. Chair. It was uh, dismissed, Mr. Chair. Pero alam mo na rin ngayon na there is a Supreme Court ruling also. Uh, na it was issued last... Sadali, na bawal. Mag-issue ng search warrant on government facilities. Actually, Mr. Chair, it was uh, fully discussed in the ruling, Mr. Chair, that uh, you can, we can, it is allowed to apply a search warrant for a criminal investigation. Sa MTC yan. No, no, Mr. Chair, from the Supreme Court in Bank, Mr. Chair. The, the one that I give the ruling, Mr. Chair. It was fully discussed in there, Mr. Chair. That's why I said I, I have to submit to the ruling of the Supreme Court with that regard, Mr. Chair. And then, papacheck namin, ha? Papacheck yeah. namin kasi magkaiba tayo ng appreciation dyan sa ruling ng Supreme Court. Yes? Mr. Chair, uh, I, I think Major Gargar, the question of uh, uh, Chairman uh, Paduano was whether or not you knew for a fact that there was no, that, 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 that the deponent that you brought before the court was not a detainee. Did you have prior knowledge of the fact that he was not a detainee? Yes, Mr. Chair. So, he... alam, mong, alam mong hindi siya detainee? Uh, at that moment, Mr. Chair, he was already outside. Yeah, previously, Mr. Chair. But uh, you just heard the, the warden say that they have no records of him being a detainee. Uh, it was from a uh, different uh, facility, Mr. Chair. Uh, but you just said that it was the, the uh, Abayog... Uh, uh, what was that? Abuyog, Abuyog. Abuyog? Pinakaw. Yes, bye, that is bye. correct, Mr. Chair. We they are, are from the Bay Bay uh, Jail. Bay Bay sub-provincial sub facility kami. Okay, so where was Mayor Espinosa detained? Bay Bay sub-provincial jail facility. Bay Bay, and you were at, uh, what, was it? What, was your, what was your place? Abuyog? Well, are you at Bay Bay? Bay Bay. Kayo? Yes, and he was, Major Garger was saying that the, the deponent that they brought was also a detainee at Bye Bye? Tama no. ba? He was a detainee at a different place? So if, yes. he was, if he was detained at a different place, how could he say, or how could he testify that Mayor Espinosa had these illegal things in his cell? Uh, Mr. Chair, if I may be able to If they were detained discuss. at different institutions? Uh, Mr. Chair, if I may be able to discuss. Uh, go ahead, you... sir. Please. Uh, Mr. Chair, the situation kasi noon, Mr. Chair, is that uh, PDLs or those previously detained and also inside the jail, uh, Mr. Chair, they have all connections from different ah, so different. So, mo, chismis lang, marites. He heard. He didn't uh, actually see. No, Mr. Chair, he was able to penetrate Based on his testimony, Mr. Chair, uh, that is uh, not my, my testimony, Mr. He is detained at a different facility, yet he is able to penetrate? Before, Mr. Chair, before. So he has knowledge. He knows the yung kalakaran po sa loob ng uh, mga jails yung with regard to illegal drug trade, Mr. Chair. Uh, knowing the kalakaran and actually seeing it and having personal knowledge of these things are two different things. Major Laraga. Tama po ba? That is correct, Mr. Chair. Oh, so you bring a deponent who had no personal knowledge of the things except just knowing the kalakaran in the area? Yan ang deponent mo? For the uh, issuance of a search warrant? No, Mr. Chair. Uh, he has personal knowledge, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, how did he get personal knowledge again? Can you um, enlighten me? Po. Uh, in his testimony, Mr. Chair, he was able to penetrate. How did he penetrate a jail facility? Without him uh, being detained there. Was he a jail guard? There was his... Uh, actually, I don't have the... I don't have his... Uh, sworn affidavit. Uh, well, you Mr. interviewed Chair him, I'm sure, di ba? Major Laraga, in-interview mo siya before mo siya pinisenta sa korte, tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh, he, so was, anong... he was subjected to a searching question and answer no, by you, the... No, you, you. I'm asking you. In-interview mo ba yung deponent mo? Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh, so uh, sabi by the niya? investigator also. Yes, paano niya nalaman? How did he have personal knowledge? Yan ang gusto uh, mo malaman. It was in his affidavit, uh, I'm Mr. asking Chair. you. You interviewed him. You just said that you interviewed him. Yun nga, Mr. Chair. Nakapasok siya doon. Uh, paano nga makapasok? Nagka-transaction sila ni, if I'm not mistaken, doon sa ano. Nagkaroon sila ng mismong 
physical ano ni the late mayor okay. Espinosa. Ma major Laraga, Ka explain how he explained to you paano siya nakapasok as an ordinary civilian na hindi detainee in a jail facility. Paano siya nakapasok? Uh, actually, Mr. Chair, the allegation na mayroong collusion between uh, mga bantay doon sa loob is yun yung reason na nakapasok sila. And that, that has been already almost public knowledge in the penal institutions there in Region 8, Mr. Chair. Alam naman po nung almost lahat ng operatiba doon prior to that, uh, Mr. Chair. Talagang... So, so ang sinabi niya sa'yo na, na he, by, by collusion with some jail guards maybe and some other persons inside the jail, he was able to go inside. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Laraga? Mr. Chair. Through the influence of uh, the drug lord, uh, Spinoza Drug Group. And that from his entry into that facility, he was able to see firsthand how things were being done. That's why you're saying that he had personal knowledge of these things. Correct? That is correct, Mr. Chair, based on his uh, testimony, Mr. And Chair. you believe that, Major Laraga? Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, because you brought I, I him. Because we, be prior to that, Mr. Chair, I had been the operative. And we already had an intel uh, information okay. with regard to that uh, illegal drug trade inside the uh, penal colony and in the detention facilities. Okay, Mr. now, is that the reason why when you entered the facility, you wore, uh, you wore a, uh, a, a bonnet or covered your face? Uh, Mr. Chair, I, that is not uh, true, Mr. That Chair. Not I, was true. Not, I, I was not wearing bonnet, Mr. Okay. Chair. Is it true that you turned off the CCTV system inside the jail facility? That is not true, Mr. Chair. So and none of uh, you did? It was all working at the same time? Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, with regard to that, Mr. Chair, we had been also charged with, uh, part, with that particular uh, violation, uh, Mr. Chair, and by the NBI. By the NBI? Yes, Mr. Chair. Also in court? In court, in court, Mr. Also Chair. Also dismissed? Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh, you have a very good lawyer. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair? Thank you, Congressman Flores. Mr. Chair. Yes, Congressman Akop. Yes. Mayor, Major Laraga, how long have you been with CIDG? Since... Uh, Eight years? Uh, eight almost years. almost eight years, Mr. Chair. Eight years? Yes, Mr. Chair. And how many times have you applied for a search warrant? Um, several times uh, already, Mr. Chair. Several times? That is correct, Mr. Chair. Now, may I know, kung yung deponent ninyo dun sa kaso ni Mayor Espinosa, I walk in o kayo ang nag-secure? I believe there was a... Why, uh, ano ang talagang nangyari? Hindi ko May... tinatanong kung ano yung paniwala mo. Ah, uh, pardon, uh, I'm sorry, Ang Mr. Chair. Ang tinatanong ko, whether your deponent ay walk in, nag-volunteer na sarili niya, o hinanap ninyo. Hindi ko tinatanong kung anong paniwala mo. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. It was si... Uh, not, not walk in, Mr. Chair. It was ano nga? Nag-volunteer siya? No, 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 Mr. Chair. Hinanap niyo siya? Our age, uh, police, there was a police, police handler. There was a police handler, Mr. Chair. Ano, no? There was a handler, Mr. Chair, an agent. Uh, Sino police. yung handler na police na yun? Uh, he was already retired, Mr. Chair. Galing I, mong I gumawa ng istorya eh. Yes, that, that, I, I'm certain, Mr. Chair. Sige, assuming na mayroon siyang handler... Since when na naging handler yung kuha na yun, informat nyo na yun, yung deponent? Binobola mo na ako eh. Hindi, uh, actually, hindi naman po Mr. Chair na bubola Mr. Chair. Talagang mayroon lang po talaga siyang personal knowledge sa pangyayari. Hindi ko naman tinatanong pangyayari. ko may personal knowledge eh. Ang tinatanong ko, how did you come to know the deponent? Ikaw nag-apply ng search warrant eh. It was introduced to me by our personnel, Mr. Chair. That, uh, Sino merong... nga yung nag-introduce sa'yo? What's the name? Of our personnel, Mr. Chair? Oo nga. Marunong ka bang uminti din ng inlist? Tatagaluhin ko. Sino ang nag-introduce sa'yo 
nung deponent? Uh, it was retired uh, kayubit, Mr. Chair. Alin? Retired na siya nung inintroduce niya? No, uh, right Active now. Active pa siya noon? Active pa siya noon at the May time. May know the name and the uh, address? Melvin Kayubit, Mr. Chair, at Palo Olete. Ano? Melvin Kayubit. Melvin Kayubit. May, Mr. Chair, may move that we, in the next hearing, we invite subject person mentioned by Mayor Laraga yes. as the deponent in the search warrant against or issued against uh, the late Mayor Espinosa. Comsec, you are directed to invite the said uh, person uh, named by uh, Congressman Ako. Nung ipinakilala sa iyo yung deponent, ano ang protocol dapat kung si IDG ka for eight years? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, uh, I have to, of course, the investigator must in interview and uh, do a background and uh, validation, Mr. Chair. You have to conduct a review, a Inter interview, interview and validation. And validation of the, the investigator, Mr. Chair, our investigator, who will get the and who testimony. was the investigator who conducted the review uh, the interview and validation it was um uh, mr chair can i check the record first you uh, check it now yes mr chair Hindi ko alam kung saan mo chechikin iho. Niloloko mo na kami. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Baka magkamali ako dun sa pangalan, Mr. Sige nga, hanapin mo. Saan mo hanapin dyan? Uh, Mr. Chair, I, if I could not, if, if, if my recollection is correct, Mr. Chair, it was uh, PO3 Johnny Ibanez. PO3 Johnny Ibanez, uh, Ibanez, Mr. Chair. Is he still in the active service? I believe he already also retired, Mr. Chair. He also retired? Yes, Mr. Chair. PO3 siya, nag-retire? Yes, Mr. Chair, PO3. PO3. Nag-retire siya, mandatory or optional? I think Kasi it's PO3 optional. Kasi PO3 siya, kailan think, lang nangyari yun ni Ibu eh. So wala pa siyang 20 years or 30 years or 56 years old. Ah, yes, Mr. Chair, maybe optional, Mr. Chair. Optional. Huwag mo ako paglulukohin ha, I will, I'll find a way. Colonel uh, Conanan, will you please take the name dun sa sinabi niya and kindly give this committee the details whether nag-retire nga siya optionally o hindi? Pakitanong sa kanya yung pangalan at rank ko. Kasi the, the way you're answering, you're already quibbling, Major Laraga. Now, noong uh, uh, in-interview at saka validate uh, ikaw ba nag-conduct ng sarili mong validation when the investigator uh, reported to you as far as his validation is concerned? Negative, Mr. Chair. Negative. Wala ka nang ginawa. Hindi ka man lang nagtaka. Informally, informally, Mr. Chair. I beg your pardon? Informally, just uh, calling some, uh, you know. Hindi mo, hindi mo tinignan kung anong resulta ng validation? Tinignan naman po, Mr. Chair. And you did not find it unreasonable na isang uh, 
dating PDL, nagsasabi ng may baril yung isang PDL sa ibang uh, detention center? Eh, credible naman po yung binabanggit ng uh, credible sa iyo? Credible sa iyo? Yes, please, Mr. Chair. Ang galing mong subagot, pero yung bagay na yun is credible sa iyo? Oo naman, Mr. Chair. Paano, paano maging credible yun? Paano niya nalaman na merong baril si Mayor Espinosa doon sa Juan? Eh, ah, meron po siyang personal knowledge doon, Mr. Chair. Ano nga? You define personal knowledge to me. Personally po, uh, nagkaharap po sila ni... Paano sila nagkaharap? I cannot discuss the details. Uh, it should be... Why uh, can't you not discuss? Chair. Ikaw ang nag-apply eh. I based Mr. on the, I endorse the in the application, Mr. Chair. I endorse the, hindi the testimony of the Sulati David. Nung nag-report sa iyo, hindi mo ba napansin kung reasonable o unreasonable yung validation? Kasi dapat mag uh, magsuspecha ka na paano nakapagbibigay yung isang tao na dating PDL pero hindi naman PDL sa bye-bye ng statement na may baril si may the late Mayor Espinosa, doon sa selda niya. Uh, Mr. Chair, kasi nakapasok daw siya doon, sir. Uh, at saka may, contact na, may, may ng, connection naman sila. Mayor Laraga, kasasabi lang ng mga officials doon, ni wala silang bisita na ganun, ni hindi sila nagkaroon ng PDL na ganun. You are lying! Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chair, but uh, I cannot... Mr. Chair, May respectfully move that we cite uh, Major Laraga in contempt Seconded. for Seconded. violation of Section 11. Seconded. There's a motion. So move, Mr. Chair. There's a motion to cite the Major Laraga in contempt for violating Section 11. Seconded. And Julie seconded. Are there any objections? Hearing none, you are now cited in contempt, Major Laraga. Comsec, take note. Uh, second motion, second motion Mr. Chairman. Yes, Congressman Paduana. Uh, may I respectfully move that uh, Major Laraga will be detained in the Quezon City Jail in a period of until the committee report will be approved in the plenary, Mr. Chairman. So move. There is a motion to detain uh, Major Laraga at the Quezon City Jail until the termination of the committee hearing and it up in the approval of the committee report in the plenary. Any second? Julie seconded. Any objections? Hearing none. The motion is approved.